16-year-old boy has been arrested in the death oh of a God. store oh clerk who was shot during a fight over a shoe raffle. He was taken into custody this afternoon without incident in Southgate. His name has not been released because he is 16 years old. The man who was killed was Jaron Bradford. Melrose, where Bradford was shot, is known for shopping in restaurants. It's now becoming known for violence. Haley Winslow has a story. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Cold-blooded murder in broad daylight. Family tells us 26-year-old Jaron Bradford was a born protector and died just trying to de-escalate a situation. It was over a raffle for a pair of shoes. These soon-to-be-released camo Nike dunks. The whole thing is just devastating. It's just not, it's very, it's very painful to see. Orna Amzalig owns Sporty LA, a shoe store on Melrose in Genesee, a couple doors down from the shoe palace where the shooting happened Wednesday and a memorial is growing. Bradford worked at shoe palace and came to help once trouble started. And next thing you know, the ladies in the front flipping tables, going crazy about the raffle. And next thing you know, they walk off and I hear the gunshot. So everybody's panicking, get in the back room and I walk out and I see Jay on the floor. New surveillance shows Bradford rush over to the raffle table. The video shows a group of guys start to come after him. Bradford backs away in a fighting position and the guy on the right, dressed in all black with his hand in his pocket, pulls out a gun and shoots him. They scatter and leave Bradford to die. I was still heartbroken for the boy that was shot, you know? because he that's somebody's son. He was a kind soul working to take care of his mom, his best friend and pursue his dream in music production. Violence has gotten so bad local and state leaders held a meeting Thursday to address the urgency for a grant program to help survivors in desperate need of support. What victims and survivors want more than anything is to not be harmed in their communities and to have no one else experience what they experienced. This can't happen unless we directly invest in things like trauma recovery, mental health, substance abuse treatment, and community-based approaches to public safety. Amzalik has seen a lot of crime over the past 36 years in business, but this? This is the worst that I've ever seen. And it was just too close to home. I mean, a poor kid losing his life over a raffle ticket. It doesn't even make sense. On Melrose, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News.